Welcome to the Salt Strong Podcast, disrupting fishing entertainment as you know it. Prepare to laugh. Prepare to get to know fishing legends in a whole new and unfiltered way. And on occasion, you might even learn a thing or two about fishing. Here's your host, Joe Simons, like diamonds. What if you only had 1,000 976 days left to live. What if you only had 1,976 Sundays to live? Well, for most of us here, if our average age of our listener is 40, that is the case. Hi, everyone. I'm Joe Simons, one of the founders of Salt Strong, and this is Salt Strong Unchurched. And today is going to be a short and sweet one because I want to respect your time. I want you, as soon as you are done with this, to start thinking about your time and how you're using it. If you listen to my past episode with that father named Chris who had to watch his daughter basically die in front of him, there's a couple of things that she said to her dad about how special her time was with him. Just him not answering her f- his phone meant the world to her. And I actually started crying because I am so guilty of that, of even having my phone at the dinner table when I know I shouldn't, having my phone on me at all times, even when one of my daughters or my son is trying to get my attention or my spouse is trying to get my attention. It's something I, I know that all of us struggle with and maybe even suffer from because it almost it can be like a disease of having to have your phone in or and or having to be so worried about your work and your career that we never take time to stop and just enjoy life and enjoy the people around us, the people that are craving for our attention. And I use these numbers because it hit me in listening to another podcast recently that if you're 40 years old, the average life expectancy is 78 years old right now in the U.S. That's the average. That means many of us will pass away before that and some will pass away after. We don't know when our time is up. But if you're 40 years old today, and I'm over that now, so if you're 40 on the dot, you only have 1,976 Sundays left. If you're 60 years old, you have under 1,000. If you're six years old today, listen to this, you have 936 Sundays left, assuming you live to the average. And if you're seven years old, you have 416 Sundays left. 416 Sundays left. Now, some of you might be thinking, oh gosh, well, that's that's depressing. That's sad. It, well, it, it could be. I also think it's super exciting. You know, I mean, how, how, how rewarding is it to know that you do have that many Sundays left to make an impact, to leave a legacy, even if you only had two left, right? I mean, if you knew you had two left right now, if God came down today and told you you've got two Sundays left, that's it, two weeks left of your life, Think about what you could do. What would you do? Think about the impact that you could make. Think about how many times you could tell someone you love them. And I think that's how we should all be acting more and more. I mean, I I think we should almost have this little calendar and this should be an exciting thing that, hey, you know, my time is limited. We all know that, but yet so many of us go on throughout life just thinking that it's not, that we're going to live forever, even though we know we're not. And, you know, I wrote, wrote that book, Fishing for Happiness, where I studied so many different books about people and mindset and, 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 and what people really think about and cherish when they're dying on their deathbed and not a single one of them brought up their job. It was all about legacy and the impact and the, and the, and the people and the friends. It was all about life. It wasn't about jobs and careers and buying new cars and houses and all the other stuff that we tend to get caught up in. And another person had mentioned this. He's, let's just say you're 40 and you got 1,976 Sundays left. And now imagine if you only had $1,976 left. That was all you had left. Would you waste it? Or would you cherish it? Would you try to save it and savor every single last penny? Think about that. If you're 70 years old, you only have $416 left to your name. Are you going to go completely waste it? Of course not. You are going to cherish and hold on to that money as tight as you can and love it and try not to lose it, right? So why wouldn't we do the same with our time? Once again, I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I respect your time and I truly want you to go out there and just love on some people like I'm about to do right now here in my own household because it was just a great reminder of how short life really is, how few weeks we do have left when you think about it that way and actually put it into a a calculator that, gosh, you know, I'm now past 40, so I'm somewhere in that 1900 Sundays left, assuming I get to live to 78 and a half years old like the average person does. Wow. 
1,976 Sundays left. What are you going to do with it? I shared that one story in a podcast a while back. Another thing that keeps me going, and, and I'll share this with you and, and end it, is Ed Milet is a gentleman and another great podcaster and a, a really just a great influencer. And he's worth uh, way over $100 million now. And someone had asked him, you know, what, why do you keep working? You don't have to work when you, you have well over $100 million of, of net worth. And, and he looked him back in the eye and said, well, it's just one reason. He said, I, I, believe, I believe in God. I believe in heaven. And I believe that I'm going to go there one day. And when I do go up to heaven, that I'm going to meet my maker and I'm going to meet God. I'm going to meet Jesus. And, and there's going to be this, this moment, this moment of truth, if you will, is what he believes. And in this moment of truth, there's going to be someone that comes up next to him. And God's going to look over and, and say, this is who I created you to be. These are the, this is you maxed out is the term he used. This is the person that you could have been if you gave every bit of ounce and energy and love and used all your talents to your maximum. And he said, one of two things is going to happen at that very moment. So once again, you're, you're in heaven. God is actually showing you your image of yourself, the person that he created you to be with all of your special, unique gifts. This is you maxing out every bit of it. And one of two things is going to happen. Either that person is going to look unrecognizable, meaning you did not max out. You did not use all of your special gifts. You, you abused your body and you abused your time and you didn't, you didn't go with your gut. You didn't take risk. You didn't live an awesome life. You know you aren't living the best version of yourself right now and you don't recognize that person at all. And the other option, of course, is that person looks like a twin. It's completely you. You're basically looking in a mirror and he's like, I want to make sure that when I go to heaven, I'm going to look at myself and it's going to be a mirror reflection. I want to know that I gave every bit I had. And he's like, if I stop working now just because I have wealth, that I know I'm not going to be using every single gift God gave me. He's like, I know I have a whole lot more to give. I know I have a bigger impact to make and I'm not stopping until I'm upstairs. And man, when I heard that, it hit me and it hit me one, because it is a great reminder of, of time. And it's also a great reminder that many of us, certainly myself are not always utilizing all the gifts God gave us. There's many of us, including myself that procrastinate, that we become lazy and we become tired. Maybe we drink too much was been a problem that I've talked about before in the, in the past. Maybe we let anxiety and fear get in the way of, of being the best version of ourselves, the version that God created us to be. And I think when you have that mindset of a short amount of time, meaning what the heck are you waiting for? And I have to tell myself this all the time. I steer, I still let fear get in the way of some decisions. I, I still let the anxiety, it still comes back, not in, in the way it used to with like full on panic attacks, but I still let some of that get in the way of me just maxing out and giving it my 100%. So think about that today, tomorrow, hopefully for the rest of your life, let it guide some of your decisions. Let it, uh, let it just point you in the, in the right direction and kind of lead with your heart and your head and the, and what you should be doing with this time that we have left. Once again, if you're 40 years old, 1,976 days left, 60, 936 and 70, 416 Sundays left. And that's if you're lucky to be the average. Guys, I love you. Thank you so much for all of the support. And I'd love to hear from you if this this little, I don't know, what are we on, eight, nine minute episode made an impact on you. If you have anything else to share, I'd love to know how you think about this and things that kind of help just propel you and get you pumped up and fired up to, to be the very best version of your life and to maximize your time with your loved ones. And my email is Joe. J-O-E at saltstrong.com. That's Joe at saltstrong.com. I would love to hear from you. Otherwise, I will talk to you on the next episode.
souls to stay 